Coming up next on Walk the Plank, I take you to the red carpet event of the year. Season four of Dead and Buried Treasures premieres tonight, and I celebrate with none other than series creator, Eric Sprouse. We'll give you a little sneak peek at tonight's movie and discuss what you can expect on this monumental episode of Dead and Buried Treasures. All that and more, stick around. Tonight's episode of Walk the Plank is sponsored by Bella Sposa Bridal Prom and Tux. Located at 358 East Maiden Street, Washington, PA, they provide dresses and gowns for weddings, formal events, homecoming, and prom. Their boutique also offers accessories, jewelry, and shoes. And for the men, Bella Sposa offers a complete line of tuxedos, suits, accessories, and shoes. Bella Sposa Bridal Prom and Tux. We're live on the red carpet for the third year, fourth season of Dead and Buried Treasures. And joining me is the superstar Bond lookalike himself, Mr. Eric Sprouse. I appreciate that, Rich. I wouldn't have said Bond. I would have said more like, can you get me another iced tea? <laughs> But hey, I'll take James Bond. I'll take it. Yeah. So this is this is a monumental moment. We're uh, dressed in the proper attire, which I got to say, yep. uh, we look pretty darn good. Yeah, it's kind of fun. We're out here on the red carpet getting ready for the big anniversary show in, what is it, less than uh, 28 minutes now. Mm -hmm. And uh, how's it going? Yeah, we're, we're doing a show. See, if I can keep his attention long enough to do this show. Right. You know, it's kind of funny because people look at us one of two ways. Either who are those losers who can't get into their own anniversary show in a half an hour when the doors open? Or, um, ooh, they're on the red carpet. I wonder if there's anybody famous other than those two lunkheads. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to be a fun night. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to it. And, uh, you know, we do have someone to thank for how good we look it's uh yeah. Lori and kevin over at uh, bella sposa bridal prom and tux provided yeah. the wardrobe tonight looking good they're uh, they're actually located in washington pa right on made east maiden street so uh make sure you uh look them up on facebook so you can look as good as we do yeah kevin did a great job hooking us up we do look very debonair tonight. This is probably the only time that I ever look debonair. Most of the time with the, the whole pandemic going on, I spend sitting in my chair in my underwear writing a script. <laughs> but tonight, it's, uh, it's going to be different. Uh, we're on the red carpet. Uh, we're getting ready to meet all kinds of people tonight. Um, mm -hmm. We're going to go behind the scenes of the show. You get a chance to tour of uh, episode 108 uh, of Dead and Buried Treasures when Rich, my cohort in crime, takes you into the bat cave. That's and right. uh, that'll be a lot of fun too. I know you're dying to get into that. I am because uh, I actually helped build that set. So I get to yep. share with everyone some of the uh, set builds I've done. And you know, you get to actually get a better view of some of the things and props that were in the bat cave that you probably missed uh, watching the show. So that's right. gonna be exciting. That'll be a lot of fun. We get to go underwater with Mirabella, everybody's favorite mermaid. Probably second favorite mermaid because Ariel always takes the top spot. 
I never let her forget that. We just clown around about that. She's going to take you to her uh, where she shoots uh, her parts of the show, and we put her together on the green screen. Mm -hmm. I get a chance to take you behind the scenes to where I work at the Dead and Buried Treasure Studios, where I can, I'll can i introduce you to the uh, post-production facilities. I'll get to show you the studio where all of the stuff is shot with Jack and Davy Bones and myself, how we do the costuming and makeup and things like that. And of course, we get to go to the island itself with Jasper, played by Christopher Presley. And he's gonna take you behind the scenes on what it's like being Jasper for a day. And that's all tonight on the anniversary show. That's Plus right. Blue behind the scenes. We got so much stuff, Rich. We're gonna have so much stuff, we're gonna have to move out. <laughs> and uh, you did forget one of the uh, fan favorite characters of the show, uh, Professor Gertie herself. She's, uh, she's gonna take you behind the scenes of uh, filming the next episode. So you're gonna get a behind the scenes look at filming, uh, which would be season four, episode two, mm -hmm. coming up. So she starts. Yeah. And it's a rarity if you're watching tonight, I'm gonna tell you, you're not gonna to wanna to change the channel. You're not gonna to wanna to turn us off because this is the only time we've ever gone behind the scenes of Dead and Buried Treasures. And we're gonna do it tonight on our, oh my, I can't believe it's our anniversary. Can you believe it? Three years, we're entering our fourth season yeah, three years has gone by pretty fast. I can't believe it. It really has. And, I, and we stayed up and running while the pandemic was around because we made a big change. We went from being together like in the studio atmosphere to uh, going to our respective homes. Mm -hmm. And I set up a studio here where I live. And you kind of set up a studio where you live. And we, we've made it happen. Uh, mm -hmm. But my goodness i can't believe it's been three years but it really has we're entering our fourth season we're setting sail no pun intended for our fourth season and i can't <laughs> i just can't believe it. it'll be a lot of fun maybe we we'll have a great movie for tonight rich yes we do have a great movie tonight it's uh the 1962 classic carnival of souls yeah it's a good movie too uh carnival of souls is one of the more popular um uh, ghost stories to come out of the 60s it's been traditional uh, mostly mostly here's the thing about public domain movies because they are public domain a lot of them are shown on college television stations so a lot of people have had exposure to some of these movies and not every movie that's in public domain is is horrible i mean this is a good one tonight um yeah. and it's a good ghost story about three teenage girls who uh uh drive accidentally drive their car off of a bridge into a river, but only one emerges. And that's where all the starts. Uh, it's a good old fashioned ghost story from beginning to end. And it is creepy. Hey, you want to drive, huh? Rev it up. Action you've never seen. Races across your screen as you thrill to a new dimension in picture making. Carnival of Soul. This is the shocking story of a who crawled from the river to race through a nightmare, walking a tightrope between heaven and hell. From the unreal, she crashes through to reality. But try as she will to lead a normal life, she is torn from a goal. There's no privacy in her life. She's ever watched, tormented. Either it's her neighbor, desirous of her physically, watching her with his leering eye, or it's the evil eye of the man, the man who taunts her, the man who wants her. From the bottom of the river they come. They reach for her. They demand that she dance with them at the Carnival of Souls. She is a girl-driven man by the relentless forces of the beyond. He will not relent as he comes for her again and again. She whirls between the real and the unreal, trying to cling to life. I like being with you, really I do. I don't want to be alone tonight. I want to be near you. Honey. You don't want to go in there all by yourself, do you? But she must watch herself in death. She must dance at the Carnival of Souls held just for her. For they have come for her for the last time, claiming her as one of their own. Carnival of Souls arouses such emotion that the management has been forced to state positively no refunds. Carnival of Souls.
of Souls is the shocker of all time, guaranteed to sweep you into a new dimension of picture making. You can't afford to miss Carnival of Souls. Well, that looks spooky. It does, doesn't it? And you know what? When it was made back in 1962, um, the producers did it as kind of a homage to uh, a real, just a good ghost stories in general. They had no idea the notoriety that would take on it would become as popular as it did. And uh, Candace, I looked at an online interview, had no idea that it would receive the following that this. It really has received kind of a cult following. And a lot of ghost stories do. Uh, I directed one in, uh, <laughs> oh my God, I'm old. Uh, the early 90s that uh, developed a real cult following uh, regionally here in the Pittsburgh area called The Middle Toe of the Right Foot, which was written by Ambrose Bierce. And um, uh, his great claim to fame was an occurrence at Owl Creek Ridge. And uh, it received a bunch of awards similar to the one that Carnival of Souls did. And it just, people just like good ghost stories. And I, I don't know if it's just Pennsylvania in general. Uh, one time I bought my dad a book called Haunted Pennsylvania because he wanted to go visit a lot of these haunted places in Pennsylvania. And this is one of those kind of movies that you can see it happening in the Pittsburgh area or any place in the Midwest and it just tells a real good creepy ghost story. I'm pretty excited to see it. Yeah, yeah, so am I. So, uh, tonight's anniversary show. Just getting into that a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. Some of the interviews that we're gonna have with the cast and crew include uh, Gertie, Marabella, mm -hmm. Jasper, Juliana, and the Siren. And I'll obviously be there too, because oh, no, uh, we're we'll also uh, we're also being interviewing uh, uh, Adriana, uh, Adriana Campbell, who plays the great, 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 great daughter of granddaughter of Calico Drake. She's actually going to be interviewed as well. That's great. So yeah, along with the cast, uh, we're also going to have uh, some exclusive interviews with uh, affiliates that mm -hmm. uh, show dead and buried treasures on their their uh, television shows and rob fleck who runs and owns phoenix oh yeah, Comics and yeah. Toys. so yeah that's gonna be we'll great and it was kind of nice too because the nice thing about tonight's show that's going to be different from all the other shows we've done is it we go behind the scenes with you me uh professor gertie played by dana messino kanji played by uh, uh, we go with Mirabella the Mermaid, who's played by uh, Aline Isley. Uh, Jasper, we sit down and talk with them. We see what these people are really like, minus the costumes, minus the makeup, minus the fins. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, we just sit down and kind of shoot the breeze about the history of horror hosting, um, favorite moments they've had on Dead and Buried Treasures, and my favorite, of course, the blooper reels that I've been working on. I'm telling you what, man, you know how long it takes to sit through all of the stock footage of that show and watch it in real time to see if there's anything funny. Uh, well, it, that's... It's, oh yeah, it's a long endeavor. And also we get a chance to talk with the affiliate people. Some of the affiliates, uh, CUTV, PCTV Channel 21, uh, BPTV Channel 7, uh, MCA TV Channel 14, the Vortex Television Network, which is a national uh, audience, the Monster Channel, who also airs our show nationally. Uh, there's a lot of affiliates out there that uh, we air stuff on, and we get a chance to sit down with all their GMs and, and reps and talk with them about the show and how much they like having the show on the air. I love that. I like to hear the response. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what's going to make this fun. Uh, no story involved. Don't worry. Uh, the next episode, we'll, we'll get back into... Uh, the mythology and story so but uh this one's just gonna be a lot of fun there's a bit of a break he can't go drink there's a break he does <laughs> that's right and uh don't forget we're gonna have an interview with you the series creator and calico drake himself yeah well i do get a chance to sit down and talk with calico drake myself that's me series creator and i sit down and talk with calico drake about what it's like being in charge of the swashbuckler's haunt yeah so that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to the uh, behind the scenes tours, uh, you know, of everybody, all the work that they've put into this. Uh, you get to really see what it's like to uh, be part of a television show 
and how hard it is, the difficulties in, in uh, filming, because with everything changed now, you're not just going into a studio. These these people are filming from their homes and, and also from studios down the street, uh, a library, I believe, Jasper, yeah. uh, the caretaker. Yeah. Uh, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I'm sorry. Here, I'll kill some time while you're, I'll stall. Uh, okay. We're out here a, a live red carpet premiere for the anniversary show, which is why we have a lot of distraction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's true. You know, and uh, I had somebody just... walk right up to me a few minutes ago and say, are you that guy that plays that pirate uh, <laughs> Jack Sparrow? I'm like, no, no, I'm not Jack Sparrow. Wrong, wrong pirate. I'm, yeah, yeah, that's me. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> that's me. I keep playing Pirates of the Caribbean. My producer in the back one. So, so yeah, we're, uh, we're gonna, that's the whole part of being excited for the red carpet. You know, we're out here, we're just kind of getting ready for it, getting ready to open the doors and go inside and see what happens. Yeah, yeah. So, a uh, couple things here before I get to what I was just handed. Uh, big news awards. On top of uh, the anniversary show, you have some nice announcements for uh, yet another award for uh, Dead and Buried Treasures. Yeah. Would you like to give yeah, anybody yeah. a teaser? What's that? Give anybody a teaser? <laughs> yeah, let's tease this. Uh, we're going to have a, coming up tonight on the anniversary show, we're going to have the movie, of course, but during our cut-in segments, we're going to do a little bit of award stuff that's mm -hmm. not quite like the show that you're used to. It's a chance for us to toot our own horn. And uh, that being said, the last couple of years have been really kind to us because... Uh, we won the uh, 2020 CMA Award for the best TV show produced in Pittsburgh. Uh, oh, there's some applause right now. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then, uh, of course, the very first award we got was when the show was very first launched. I forgot to even mention to you, uh, BPTV gave us best best writing, best best episodic, episodic moment in January of 20. Mm -hmm. uh, that was, and of course, uh, I called that best writing. I don't know what else to call it. But then they said uh, uh, they gave us the best TV series on BPTV. They gave us the best episodic moment again. So a couple other awards came in. Uh, the Golden Turkey Award uh, came to us uh, for the best horror host. And I guess that would go to yours truly. Although I don't like saying that because it makes it sound like I, I don't know. I, I just don't, I'd like to give it to the whole, well, I'm nothing without the cast and crew and you and, and Dana and the crew. So it was the best horror host award and I appreciate it. I like getting it from Vortex Network, um, but I really like to think of it as a team award. So mm -hmm. I say Dead and Buried Treasures, not just Cal Calico Drake. And uh, so we have some good things and good awards. And of course, two other awards, one of which you don't know about, but I just found out about today. Uh, a lot of these awards, and I'm going to tell you right now in a second, but put, put a pin in that. A lot of these awards, I've never nominated the show for. Somebody nominates us anonymously, or maybe it's the station. Uh, directors or something but uh, and that's how we won the best series the best uh, uh horror host i didn't mm -hmm. even know we were getting it. uh sluggo over the vortex network surprised me one night and said hey you may want to tune in there's something you gave to see and i said what she says it's a surprise they gave us the award i didn't even know about it so a lot of these awards were i'm learning that you don't nominate yourself for someone nominates you and that's what happened with these last two awards one of which you know of we got a youtube award for the best original show in 2020 wow. uh during the pandemic and i thought that was big so uh we'll have that trophy tonight on the show we'll have all the trophies tonight on the show uh, except for one and that's the golden turkey award they are still in the process of customizing it but i'm told uh it's uh, unique and it's a great big turkey <laughs> made out of resin and uh we'll have that on an upcoming show it's not quite ready yet they're still putting it together and the last award that we won, we won a Facebook award for the best original series presented in a video format on Facebook. And we'll have that award tonight on the show, too. So a lot happening in the awards department, and I couldn't be happier. That's that's amazing. Congratulations. It everybody. really is. No, that's to everybody. I mean, everybody's done a wonderful job on the show. Just their parts and their roles. I told, you know, people at home. Uh, I was having a talk with Rich here uh, about an hour before we went on air. And I said, you know who really just impresses the hell out of me? 
uh, Christopher Preston. He just is the funniest guy. He creates bloopers. Sometimes I think he creates them. I'm like, how can anybody be that funny? Oh, he's one of my fa- I told him when I interviewed him, when we had the interview, that he's my new favorite character, Jasper the Caretaker. So, you know, move oh, yeah. on to Reggie. I'm sorry. No. Oh, yeah. oh, well, Reggie's here too. Well, but um, but yeah, uh, Jasper does a great job. And uh, he's got some bloopers tonight that'll just knock everyone's <laughs> socks off. I forgot they even happened. And they're just sitting on the cutting room floor. So I'm glad we're doing an anniversary show like this of this kind of caliber where we're doing a red carpet kind of thing and we're getting ready for the night because these bloopers tonight, we have three different reels and they will make you bust again. It's good stuff. I can't wait. Yeah. So this came in. Thank you, by the way. <laughs> uh, I like how people just randomly come up with don't, don't we have a crowd control? <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, we're just hey, I, I'm waiting to come make one. <laughs> you guys making TV? I'm sorry about that. You know, they, they don't. Uh, oh wait, what so, happened? What do we so, got now? What, what well, we this add? this is actually some big news here that I was unaware of. Okay. That Am I aware of it? Of course you are. That's why it was handed to me because hey, it was a surprise for me too. Uh, although you're aware of this, so I'm going to ask you this so that you can elaborate on it more because I want to know now. Uh, okay. That a new affiliate has picked us up. DBNA TV. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Absolutely. What's going on there? That's another surprise we have tonight to talk about. Uh, the DBNA Television Network has decided to pick up Denberry Treasures, which gives us a potential audience just on that network of 81 million homes. 81 million homes, you did not hear me incorrectly. 81 million homes, and if you want to see DBNA TV, uh, if you don't already have it in your cable area, uh, you can see a streamline of it. I think they put the actual uh, network online at dbnatelevision.tv. And uh, we start uh, this coming weekend, and we're on every Saturday and Sunday at nine o'clock uh, with a show and 8.30 pre-show with Walk the Plank and uh, we're on until they decide to say hey, turn off the lights and get out <laughs> <laughs> so, that's hey, great. so that's a great big thing uh, we have uh, a DBNA, a, a buddy of mine over there, his name is David Brunner, Brunner. Uh, he is uh, in charge of the network and he has just been a gem of a guy to work with and it's funny because Every time we talk on the phone, he'll tell me uh, dirty pirate jokes to use on the show. <laughs> I'm like, hey man, it's your network. If you want me, to, if you want me to use it, I said, all right. So we'll just exchange dirty pirate jokes back and forth. And he's just a great guy to, to, to uh, call a boss, I guess, a GM of the network. And uh, we can't wait to send all of our shows and programming out there. So that'll be great. That's excellent. That is some big news. So, thanks. oh, and as a guests I want to mention tonight on the show. We have upcoming cast members as well. Uh, Leah Haas uh, is going to be playing a character on the show soon named Calypso. And uh, we interviewed her as well. I don't want to leave her out in left field either because uh, she's a, a former student of mine when I taught at Bloomsburg University and she's jumped on the bad wagon too. And she is uh, one of our new actresses on the show and we'll, we'll introduce her character soon enough and see what she's all about. And I want to make sure I mention her as well. Oh yeah, that's great. Um, okay, I'm, I'm getting <laughs> getting the wrap it up sign here. Uh, so we're going to be getting ready to go on. Is it already? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's getting, it's about that time. But uh, before we go, again, I want to give a thanks to uh, Lori and Kevin over at Bella Sposa Bridal Prom and Tux in Washington, yeah. PA for providing yeah. us this uh, amazing wardrobe here. They're located on 358 East Maiden Street in Washington, PA. Uh, you right. can check them out on Facebook. They are on Facebook or bellasprosabrides.com. Mm -hmm. And- uh, Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Lori. Yeah, yeah, we look great. Uh, excellent service there. What can I say? It's a beautiful, beautiful place. Um, very comfortable setting. I told, actually, when I picked up my tux, I, I, I said to Kevin, you know, the only thing that this place is meeting, um, needing, is a cigar lounge and maybe some whiskey. 
because that's how nice it was down there. It was the, the yeah. new shop. It was beautiful. I said, you was need a bar. Cool going, wasn't it cool going down behind the place to get fitted in the back? It was. It definitely I just, was. I just thought, oh my god, it's a whole different world inside. It's so uh, intimate in there. It's it's really nice how he has things set up. I couldn't have been happy about getting them on board as a sponsor. Yeah, yeah. So thank you so much. That was that was awesome. We look great. I also mentioned one other sponsor too, Rich, and I just now thought about this because we don't give them enough uh, credit either. Is a uh, Steel City Con. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they, we always seem to do an episode with them. And we put it on after the event. So if it's on somewhere around that area, I want to hype up a little bit on Steel City Con for helping us in the past, present, and future. I'm sure there'll be uh, another sponsor again for us, uh, either for this episode or the next episode when we get back to a regular plot line. I wanted to make sure that we brought them in the next bit. Uh, thank you again tonight for Bella Sposa, Bridal, Formal Wear, Kevin Glory, and everybody else over there. They've done a great job for us tonight. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So we got to get going. And um, you guys enjoy the movie, enjoy the behind-the-scenes look, and the interviews for tonight's special anniversary episode. It's been, a, it's been a great time on the red carpet, getting ready for this, hyping this for tonight. And I got to tell you, when I look like this, I feel like I look like that villain in the most dangerous game. You know what I mean? The, <laughs> the, guy, the billionaire madman on the island. Oh, I only hunt one thing. You know, I got the even hairline. Look at the Bella Lugosi hairline going, or more like the Bruce Willis hairline. But it looks—I just look weird. Stay tuned. It's going to be a great time at the anniversary show, folks. Yep. So stick around. That's coming up next. Listen up, mateys. Now you can get in on all the dead and buried treasures fun. We're grateful to see the show carried on its many affiliates, but there's been a lot of requests from viewers to see the pre-show and the after show, and not every channel can carry those shows due to time constraints. But now you can, simply by going to our Facebook page, by tuning in to see our pre-show Walk the Plank, 30 minutes before Dead and Buried Treasures begin. And our after show, The Pirate's Booty, immediately following the end of the program. So, if Dead and Buried Treasures begins Mondays at 11.30 p.m., simply go to our Facebook page 30 minutes before at 11 o'clock to see Walk the Plank, our pre-show. Then, when Dead and Buried Treasures ends, go to our Facebook page once again to see our after show. Both where we take your calls, Facebook comments, emails, and queries about the show itself. And you can even speak with me, Captain Calico Drake. <laughs> That's right, me hearties. Some of these channels just don't have the opportunity to carry the pre-show and the after show, but now you can see what you've been missing. That's Walk the Plank, our pre-show, seen 30 minutes before Dead and Buried Treasures begins on our Facebook page, and our after show, The Pirate's Booty, seen immediately following Dead and Buried Treasures, where it's Halloween all year long. 